torn between a promise to never appear on camera and my love for rehashing classic games. I'm Critical Failure, and this is Tiger Claw TV. <laughs> Today we're going to look at a great NES game called City Connection. City Connection in terms of gameplay is probably best described as Miss Pac-Man in a car from the side view. This was not the game I was planning to review next, but I just happened to pick it up and start playing it to pass the time and well, it's just that addictive. So I thought I'd give it a second look here on Tiger Claw TV. The Wikipedia article states that City Connection was made for the arcade, which it was, though I never played the arcade version, and was later released for the NES. Now I also learned from this article that around May, the NES version was released for the Virtual Console at the cost of 500 Wii points, a game addictive enough to be well worth 5 bucks. Okay, so here we are taking a look at City Connection. You got one or two players. Now the second player mode is the old school second player mode like in Mario Brothers, where it's actually alternating gameplay. Basically, here is to drive through the course, and as you drive, you're painting the ground with this white paint. And it's basically like Miss Pac-Man. You have to cover every inch of this course without A, touching one of these cop cars, unless you've nailed it with an oil can first, or B, smashing into a cat. Yes, smashing into a cat is enough to destroy a minivan. But that aside, we're treated to an original idea, and a good game with good graphics. We got four levels, okay, one for New York, and as you're going to see here in a second, there's one for London, there's also one for Egypt, and one other one which escapes me at the moment. But I could never get past London, London, simply because this is a genuinely challenging game. We're not going to go ahead and tell you it's one of the, uh, as challenging as, say, one of the Mega Man games or Ghosts and Goblins, but it's going to take you a while to beat this. So the final sum up for City Connection for the NES, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give City Connection a stapler. Thanks for tuning in to Tiger Claw TV. I'm Critical Failure, signing off.